This is a story about Edward S. Curtis, born here in southern Wisconsin 145 years ago. When he died, the New York Times said Curtis devoted his life to compiling the history of the North American Indian, and he was the world's foremost Indian photographer. You have most likely seen his magnificent photos. His parents farmed near Whitewater, Wisconsin. His dad, a Civil War veteran. In his writings about Indian tribes in America, Alaska, and Canada, Edward traces Wisconsin Indian migration and mentions the Rock River. Edward's family moved west, and he became a photographer at 17, eventually working with famous explorers of the time and National Geographic magazine. In 1906, J.P. Morgan, financier, banker, and art collector, provided Curtis with $75,000 to continue his North American Indian project for 20 years. He received no salary and would travel extensively, living in primitive conditions. Curtis's goal was not just to take pictures, but to document Indian traditional life before that way of life disappeared. Curtis was shot at four times in his quest to take photos on Rough Frontiers. He became ill from too much work, divorced because he was away so much, and his works didn't sell well. He was poor most of his life. Curtis died in 1952 at 84. Last year, a copy of his North American Indian volumes sold for more than $900,000.